what, what our goal here today was to just simply provide some context for the two bills and not necessarily to get, get into, I mean, that's the debate we're having generally. And, but we just wanted to be able to, in, to let you guys know, since it, there was a lot of questions out there about the numbers, what, what we saw in the numbers as they have come out from the systems. The one number I can pretty confidently say to you is that, our, that, the, that the, the bill, and I would say that's true for the bill that, that, that we introduced last December and the bill and the and Senate Bill 1 is going to be in the neighborhood of 27, 28, 29 billion off the unfunded liability immediately, and that this would be closer to five or five and a half. So they ran the scenarios, no one takes a choice or everyone takes a choice, and then they did ran a scenario that um, half of the retirees are assumed to keep the COLA with no benefit changes and half are assumed to keep the 3% compounded COLA with a delay in order to maintain their health care. So that was like the most likely outcome given an employee question on which way do you want to go. There, I, it's my understanding that during the debate there was there was a statement that the that the, un, the reduction off the unfunded liability from House Bill 2404 would be in the neighborhood of 10 billion. Um, given the, the most like as Representative Sanger laid out, given the most likely choice, um, it would appear to be five billion. And Ray is asking, would the same percentage reduction apply off of the total 30-year payment number? And I might gut is that it won't be as dramatic as that. On 2404. On 2404. The 170 to 190 billion is what is the number the, the number of dollars fewer that you pay over 30 the years. The state contribution yeah. over 30 years, it's not quite that high, I think. And it was, it, we think it will be in the 150 range. Compared to what Senator Cullerton said was 46 to 48 in 2404. Right. If 2404 were forced on you, and it's the bill that passed, what would that mean sitting here today seeing these numbers? You just wouldn't reach the goal within 30 years, or could you but not we, get there? We, you know, even the current bill, even the current funding plan requires us to get to 90% funded. Um, so, you know, we get there. The question is what, other, what, what, else, what, what else other actions do we have to take in order to be able to afford that? And we think that I, but I would argue that Senate Bill 1 is a much more affordable approach all the way around.